Top five causes of death in pregnancy. Every single day, 830 women lose their lives to pregnancy and childbirth complications. Maternal mortality isn't just a statistic. It is a devastating event that ripples through families and communities. Sharing with you the top five causes of deaths in pregnancy so you can be more aware, but even more importantly, learn how to prevent them. Let's break it down. Number one, fear bleeding. Any healthy pregnant woman could be in danger from postpartum bleeding if not looked after properly. When a woman loses more than 500 mils of blood, it's called postpartum hemorrhage. But here is the good news. Using oxytocin after delivery of the baby's shoulder can effectively control bleeding. Number two cause of death in pregnancy, infections. Pregnant women are more prone to infections due to normal body changes. When the infections get out of control, it can lead to maternal sepsis, which is a life-threatening condition. This sepsis can develop during pregnancy, childbirth, or in the months following childbirth. Maternal sepsis could be caused by a urinary tract infection or pneumonia. Like any form of sepsis, we can reduce the risk of developing infection by practicing good hygiene, such as washing hands before and after changing the sanitary pad or touching the perineum. Picture this, just by keeping things clean and catching infections early, we could save lives. It's that simple. Number three cause of death in pregnancy, preeclampsia. This is a complication of pregnancy that comes with high blood pressure, high levels of protein in urine that indicate kidney damage, also known as proteinuria, or there could be other signs of organ damage. Preeclampsia usually begins after 20 weeks of pregnancy in women. Left untreated, it can lead to serious, even fatal complications for both the mother and baby. Early delivery of the baby is often recommended and something as straightforward as magnesium sulfate can be a lifesaver. Number three cause of death, obstructed labor. This is where the baby is either too big or in a position where they cannot pass through the pelvis and therefore it makes a vaginal delivery impossible. This can lead to a big tear or a bursting of the womb or uterus or even infection or cut off oxygen to the baby called asphyxia. It could also cause postpartum hemorrhage and in the long term fistulas. When we make sure deliveries are safe and there are skilled healthcare professionals, professionals around to manage delivery, it can help reduce these complications. Number five, unsafe abortion. Worldwide, five million women are hospitalized each year for treatment of abortion-related complications and abortion-related deaths. And this leaves many babies motherless. Needless to say, access to safe and legal abortion services can prevent tragedies caused by risky behavior, by risky procedures. Now on to brighter things. We've got some proactive steps to ensure safer pregnancies. Number one, uh, things we can do, early prenatal care. Think of it as getting a head start. By chatting with a clinician before getting pregnant, we can sort out health stuff and make sure everything is in tip-top shape. Number two, nutrition and exercise. It's all about keeping healthy, eating right, staying active, and managing stress. A happy mom means a healthy baby. Let's come together and make sure every mom-to-be gets the care and support she deserves. Together, we can turn these grim statistics into stories of hope and health. If there is anything specific you'd like to ask or any question regarding health, do feel free to let me know in the comments or in the direct in a direct message. Better still, download the Health Demo app on Google and Apple stores to share your experiences. Together, we can build a community ready to listen, learn, and support you. You've got this.